Hello everybody and welcome back to more Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 with Crank 15. Now obviously when we left last la la we're just gonna go out to Botany Breakers. Where we last left off, we were in the midst of getting this park finally going. Uh yeah, Scooby Blue is gonna go right here, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this. Uh we still have not achieved our goal for this park. I kind of want to achieve it this session, but I don't know if I will or not. Uh, park rating is at 999. Uh, we need to get 10,000 for at least ride tickets, and the most we've done is pretty much five, five and a half all across the board. I hope to, uh... This is going to start getting trickier, though, because some of these rides people aren't going to start going on soon, because they're going to be like, oh, it's kind of old. Oh yeah, my own like a little rendition of this. I need to turn this up. There it is. Bless you. This is so cool. Oh my God. That all of a sudden went really loud. I don't know why that did that. But we take a look at our thing. So we have roller coasters left and shops and stalls for the funding. <laughs> Seems like everything is working just fine. Uh, I was so glad when we got the cash machines in. And then of course Wicked Wizards here with its three coasters that I modified. This is busy for some whatever odd reason. I do believe we have some of our loan to give back. Oh, we only have 10 grand of the loan left. Uh, but it looks like it could be costing us a little bit of money still, so I'm probably gonna give it some of it back right now. And we are going to work on Gooey Bluey's location. Gooey Bluey is one of my, it's a, it's a call out coaster I made to one of my best friends in Europe. I made this coaster just for him. I made another coaster in, uh, in a tribute to uh, his friend, uh, Perf Prof, but we do not have that coaster at the moment. Uh, I don't think I made anything else. I need to make different coasters for like all my friends and not just Blue and, and Profy. This is Blue's this could be Blue's, like, dominant nature, the Blue Hurricane. Look at this freaking monster. Yeah, look at there, that. Yeah, we could just throw that smack in the middle of the island. Well, I want to go to that park, Dad. Yeah, what's that big blue thing up in the distance? That's just... It's a very blue coaster. Now, Wooden Whirly is a coaster I made, and I believe I just made it blue and black. I don't think it's got any relation to the gooey gooey coaster but it is nice and pretty to look at I made this myself pretty popular pretty popular I'm probably gonna have two years to work on this before people are gonna be like oh mango munch is too expensive to get on uh, the twist it doesn't have anybody on it I need to keep an eye on like Who's on rides and whatnot? If there's like a zero anywhere, okay, that's that, that had me. Let's see, open, open, all right, good to go. We're making pretty fast money. I'm gonna start working on where Gooey Bluey's gonna go. And of course, I've pissed away so much freaking money and landscaping. You know what? I think I'm just gonna clear out the scenery for now. I don't think it's gonna bankrupt me. But wow, look at the money in the bottom left just completely go down the drain. 
Ooh, yikes. Clearing out vegetation hurts. It's okay. We're making our money back anyway. Some of these are freaking $54, $60 to remove. Are you serious? Which ones are those? That's 13 Hold on. I'm going to right-click everything here for a second. Or is it just collectively? It's collectively. I have no money. <laughs> I have completely bankrupt myself getting rid of the vegetation here. And you know what? That's fine. So, gooey bluey. Blue, blue. Oh my goodness. There she is. And where is she going to slot? She's going to slot right here. Or do I want her up more? No, she's going to slot right here because... Uh, well, no, I'm going to have her right there. If need be, maybe I'll slap her down one more over. But that's pretty good. That's a good sized area too. I think I need the modified gooey bluey as well. I think the gooey bluey I have now is not the modified version. Uh, I initially made it to where the coaster could have three trains because I altered the where the brakes went, where the block brakes went, and where the sections were. So I now need to do that as well. First things first. You know, I may as well just pay off the loan. It seems like we're making like enough money per that I could just pay off the loan, get rid of the interest rate. It's at 10%. Right now, it's, it clocked me last month for 109 so... What are we getting in new rides? Vertical Drop Coaster. This is the Big 90 or the Gravity Gale. Gravity Gale is a huge coaster, but guess what? It's, a, it's an expensive-ass coaster. And that's probably not going to work. Now, what do we got here? We have the... Side of the Phoenix, Harry Planes, Pendulator, Vehicle Design Unavailable, Ride Performance may be affected. You know, I feel like it's not affected that much. Regurgitator, I must butcher that. So where was, I need to start making the blueprints for what Bluey's going to look like. Oh, turn you around. Bluey's gonna be smacked right here, possibly, maybe, if I could get her to align correctly. Uh, that looks about right. So, we need to clear out... So, at the very top of the hill, it looks like... So, we need to get rid of all of this. So, all this stuff here on this section is, like, gone. This is all gone now. I also need to like, all right, there you go. All right, that, this should be good as far as where Gooey Bluey goes. I may as well just kind of clear this out just because I know it's like costing me a lot of money, but all right, so uh, the foundation of where Gooey Bluey is going to go is going to be right there. Let me just take a minute to look and see where she's going to be. She's going to be right here. I don't see any plants in the way at the moment. I may need to clear this section out real quick, though. I can't get those. What, what do you mean? Get these out of here. Got her plants. Look at this. Seriously, look at this. Look at this freaking. Hold on. I'm going to take off the scenery real quick. I'm going to take off the... You know, I bitched at this last session, but let's take a look at the scenery. Corey, can you make an island? Oh, like an attraction island? Look how much of this is. It's nothing but hills and trees and scenery. Boom. Scenery. Boom. No scenery. It is nothing but hills. And then, like, look how much I've had to freaking carve. Because even in the ocean, I've had to carve. And just because... None of these coasters would fit where they were if I didn't carve. I have pissed away at least 40 grand of trying to shape this dumbass island. And it's like, well, geez, this could have been avoided if the freaking people who bought this land could have bought a. Perhaps. Freaking Jurassic Park was flatter than this. And that's on a co island in Costa Rica. And those are all hilly ass mountains. All right, Gooey Bluey Foundation is good to go. However, we are now going to flatten everything. And this is going to take a while. So I don't know if I want to flatten it all now. 
or mayhaps wait. Maybe I lower maybe I lower the uh my loan first. Get the ten percent out of the way. And then slowly but surely, gradually, like lower everything. Like maybe try to do half and half. Alright, so this is now lowered. That took away all my money. I'm oh my god, it broke. <laughs> it's okay. The addition of Chocolate Log, Wicked Wizard, and Wooden Whirly are gonna help substantially. Red Baron is pretty pretty new too, if I remember. Uh yeah, two years. Mango Muncher is gonna hit its 10 year in a couple of years. This is, I think, five years old. Uh, yeah, it's five years old. This isn't all that popular, but it, it was, again, another coaster. I just needed to push some money. Space rings are popular. Everything over here is pretty popular. Merry-go-round. Mango muncher. Munch, munch, munch. Chew, 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 swallow. I remember uh, an old commercial ad in GTA Vice City where uh, they were like they were talking about Rusty Brown's ring donuts, and one of them, <laughs> one of them was like it sounded like a guy or just some biker chick, and she's like, you know, well, how do you like Rusty Brown Brown's ring donuts? And then she was like, I like them much vigorously or something like that. And I just I don't know that whole commercial just cracks me up. Um, what was it? What was it? Oh yeah, they brought on some gay dude, and he was just like, I, you know, I like to lick the glaze around the outside and then thrust my tongue down the middle. Some stupid shit like that. And it was, it always brought me, it always made me laugh. Rusty Brown's ring donuts. Can I get away with this? No, I can't. Oh my god, I broke. <laughs> I want to just reiterate that. It is not the roller coaster. It is not Bluey that is gonna make break me. Um, I am making money fast enough now to where I can get away with doing all this. As far as where everything else is going to go, I have no idea. I also still have the scenery off. That's my bad. <laughs> I can make everything disappear. Three, four, five, six. Oh my God! There's nothing there. Uh, I like having everything disappeared because this gives me a, like a quick check of things to see if like. Benches are broke and all that nonsense. Apparently one of my handymen seemed to be slipping on the job. I'll get to that later. We're still at a pretty good park rating. Right this park took so long to like take off. Uh, see anything here. God, you know, if it's one thing I don't like about this park is that it had brown paths and I freaking hate that. I should just replace all the benches with the stone. But Everybody's butts will hurt if you sit on stone. I, d I personally don't mind sitting on stone. Uh, because I, I, for a guy, I kind of have a female ass, so I don't really, it doesn't really bug me that much. Meaning I have, a, a, like, a feminine ass shape or curvature or whatever. But I know, you know, most guys probably have, like, flat asses, so they're like, oh, stone hurts. You know, it's better if we sit on wood, because the wood, like, supports better. But I, I personally don't care. <sighs> when I look around this room, I see nothing but untapped potential. You have potential. You have... Oh, oh my. <laughs> uh. I made this ride too. Uh, I forget what it's called. I think I called it non original name because I was bored. So I just call it non. It's the non coaster. This coaster has been here five years and it doesn't really seem like it's been popular up until now. Whirlybird has broken down. That would be this one. Chocolate log is out the wazoo. I think I modified this tr this one too. Right? Yeah, that's right. I added this. I added in this section so that I could have three trains. 
I had to push. I had to keep up the frequency of having additional trains. I did that with this one too. Wouldn't really, I kept it too, because honestly, I just wasn't going to deal with it. Uh, we're going to lower our loan down by one more. And then we're going to keep it at uh, five bucks for now, or five grand for now. I just wanted to get rid of the bulk of this for the Momentito roller coaster. Oh, let's see. Vertical drop is the one I'm thinking of, right? Yeah. Mini diver, that's what it's called. And then Gravity Gale, which is a gigantic coaster. Look at that thing. Wow. Wow. Chocolate log is broken down. Damn, damn. Well, that's what the block breaks are for. And then... This can stop right here. There it goes. Block brakes are the types of brakes you will see on roller coasters at various theme parks in which a section of the coaster will automatically slow down from its speed, either stop on said part of the track and or slowly roll down the next decline. And which, if you have block brakes on a roller coaster, it allows the coaster to have more sections and allows it to have runs more trains, obviously. It's not all one continuous circuit. It's like a, it's like a same track siding if you see in a train yard. You stop the train for a little bit, you know, wait till the other train starts going up the chain. Then once it gets to the top of the chain and stops, the second train on the block brakes section will re resume its course. And then once it gets to the station, then the train at the top of the chain will c now go on the ride. That's pretty much how it works. I hear footsteps, and it doesn't sound like Mallory. Three hundred and twenty. What the hell? Oh, I can afford it now. Let me know. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we're we getting a coaster next. Is that what I read? Yes, is that the last coaster? No. Okay. Acknowledge. How's our money for this, by the way? Oh, we, we, we're we cracking six. We're cracking six now. That's crazy. Alright, I see you. Blue, Gooey Bluey's gonna help that. Gooey Bluey could push it up to eight, maybe. But, we do not have... I do not have its made yet. Obviously, I still need a lot of money to chunk all this, so maybe I'll just wait a little while. Maybe I'll see what else we have in the meantime. Uh, I have Tsunami. Tropical Cyclone. Actually, people might go on this. It's not that bad looking. Tropical Cyclone for like a big old island it might work uh can i reverse this oh boy oh i could stick this sucker right here actually can i make it to where i don't know if i like that it's more on that side i, I like that bit but it's kind of like can it go in through the loop Actually, wait a minute. Oh, I was trying to blend the coaster into the loop. That would have been kind of cool. What does it look like down here? Oh, it's right on top of it. I don't like it. Uh, so the coaster right here would be 30 grand, approximately. Wow. Well, how much does this coaster cost, anyway? I didn't even look at the price. 20 grand, so it would just be another 10 to... For all the extra supports. Here's the Siamese. It doesn't cost very much. Siamese is a direct copy of Hyper Twister's Raven Racer. Her hype isn't all that much. Solid Hyper wouldn't be too bad. I could slap this sucker over here somewhere. The only problem I have with the Hyper Coaster is that even though it's easily liked, it's pretty pricey to make the coaster itself. 
That's just, you know, it's not that, it's not that fun, I guess. My left leg is twitching up a storm. Swivel swivel wouldn't be too bad. I could just throw it right there. Be like, wow, Corey, that looks nice, maybe. I don't know. It'd be three grand. That wouldn't be all that hard to do. So how much are we making or losing per on the loan? A 63.9? That's not bad. I'll take 65 bucks a month for interest. The 10% interest is how many people are interested in me. There you go. That's kind of sad and degrading, but that's okay. It's okay. Alright, we are slowly but surely going to make our way able to lower this down. This is killing our money and making me a very sad, but you know what? We're doing it. There you go. It's like we're almost there. This is going to cost a lot more than what I think. 80. Slowly but surely making our way. We're, we've about kind of carved this in half, which is nice. Now we're going to lower this down real quick. There you go. Oh, there's people on Wicked Wizard going nuts. I'm like, what is that? Well, like, who, who is going nuts? I've got a fan underneath my laptop. Uh, I finally got a cable for it. <laughs> and because this this laptop I'm playing off of, it runs hot. And I don't like... It, it'll literally, it runs hot enough to where if you put your hand near the vent, after, like, really close to the vent, after about a few seconds, it will start to actually burn you know? It just runs hot. I don't know why. I've never really figured it out. I've never had any real mechanical, technical issues with it. I just, I'd feel better uh, if I kept it cool underneath. Every little bit helps. And so, I have a fan for my other laptop, but I lost the cable for it. So I got a new cable recently, and I've got it plugged in and hooked up. And it's, it's running warm, but you can tell it's, I think it's making a big difference. Spiral lift chain. Oh, the coasters can run right next to each other. I didn't even notice that. That's kind of cool. Uh, what were we getting, by the way? I, I have such short memory sometimes. Flying turns? You're kidding me. Really? That is the... That may as well be a gentle ride. Flying turns is pretty much the singular car version of the bobsled coaster, and you... If you guys have paid attention to my channel on this series, going back to the first game, I hate the bobsled coaster. It's so stupid. It's like the dinghy slide. It's like so freaking unstable. You think you're making a track look good, and then like during the test or during the actual ride, it freaking will crash. And it's just annoying. All right, we're just going to go ahead and lower everything here. Killing my money, one cent at a time. Now, is that where the actual coaster ends back there? Let me go ahead and double check this. Gooey, 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 gooey. 
All right, let's check you out, girl. What do we got? Uh, yes, that is actually where it ends. It's back there. I think I wanted it right here. Right? No. Wait. I wanted it right here. Okay, so I need to back this up more, maybe. <clears throat> I could have it run next to this so that I don't have to back it up more. I still got to get rid of the section off to the left, it looks like. And then even then, it's just like... I guess I can go ahead and start doing that. This whole island is going to be flat before long. I guarantee it. There's no stopping it. There you go. I gotta get rid of all this. Alright. I have no money again. And you know what? It's okay. We'll make it back. People are still going to Mango Muncher, right? Yes. Even though I think I lowered this to three. Yeah, I did. Are people still saying this is good value? Uh, no. They're just... Oh, look. It's flying turns. Oh, look. It's... What a boring coaster. Five, five, and four for this little thing. Stupid. Absolutely garbo. I do like this little Santa on a bill back here for this one turn. I feel like it makes it nice and supportive. 